Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today Gemini I'm going to be doing your reading for the next three months. Um, this is to give you an idea of what kind of energies you're going to be facing for April, May and June. So I hope you're doing well. Now please do bear in mind those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. So take what applies and just discard the rest. If the message doesn't apply to you or if you want a more um, comprehensive pictures, do check your Moon, Venus and Rising signs. Now what do I have for my Gemini Aquarius, please? <laughs> oh, that just dropped a huge wad of cards, I'm sorry, let me just grab them. That was a card explosion, if I had, had seen one. I'm sorry about this. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we do have this one that flipped, so I will give you this one, but I'm going to continue my shuffling very quickly. Okay. So, your jumper was card 49. Now, I want you to have a look at this scene. I think it's very pretty. Be insightful and established. Ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or future. This is really a card that talks about practicing mindfulness. This is telling you that you are either living in the past, so holding on to something, could be hurt, pain, wound, whatever this is, or you could be reminiscing and feeling nostalgic about something that's gone. Or you're projecting yourself in the future, um, trying to manifest something and this is all you're thinking about and you're forgetting to ground yourself and actually enjoy the present moment. Your next energy is 35. Help, help appears in various ways. Now you see the little fish. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look to the support systems that are with you continually. So this card highlights that because you're up in your head, either in the past or in the future, you are forgetting that you've got people around you that are capable of supporting you. Now whether we're talking about emotional support, uh, spiritual support or um, financial support, you know, take what resonates, but you do have people around you who could help you um, either letting go of what you're holding on from the past or moving forward and manifesting something. So it's a card of, you know, you're not alone. And then your last card is let your personality shine, 33. You have something no one else has that makes you who you are. Stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uniqueness to shine through. So again, the message I'm getting is that um, because you are holding on to something in the past or you're trying to manifest and it's not successful, you are comparing yourself to other people who are successful and this is detrimental to your growth obviously um, and it fosters negative energy which you, you don't want and the card is asking you to really truly embrace what makes you unique you know, your, your quirks. Um, we all have specific talents and gifts. And this is about really accepting what your gifts are and using them to move forward in your life uh, rather than trying to comply, um, you know, to fit into the, um, the rigidity of the mold of society is what I'm hearing. If you're trying to manifest something but you are trying to manifest something based on who you think you should be, it's not going to make you happy. Even if you're successful at it, it won't make you happy. So it really is about um, accepting who you are, what you're good at, what you're not so good at, what is different um, between you and others, and then really working on this to make this grow. And then obviously happiness, prosperity will come from that. I hope this makes sense. Now let me clarify with the tarot. What is it with your reading? I'm throwing my cards everywhere. That's not happened before. Not like that. I really am 
sorry, I don't know why this is happening, but I will show you. This one um, came on top like that. Now, I don't believe in coincidences, so it's evidently happening for a reason. <laughs> We'll talk about your jumpers in a second. So by the way, your jumper was the Six of Swords, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So, your first card is the Queen of Swords. You then have, ooh, the Nine of Cups, really nice energy. And the King of Coins, awesome. Then we have Strength, Major Arcana, Ace of Coins, love this card, and the Three of Cups, awesome. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy underlying um, that's at work, but you may not be aware of, you have the beautiful Ten of Cups, wow, so happy about this. Okay, let's talk about your jumper first. You've got the Six of Swords. Now, the Six is the number of harmony after having overcome a challenge or a change. And, um, and as you can see, you've got the beautiful flowers here growing, which is the sign of, you know, harmony coming back into your life. And the Swords is to do with your thoughts, ideas, knowledge, um, your points of views, truths and communication, anything to do with the mental realm, really. So the Six of Swords talks about overcoming some kind of a problem and moving towards a brighter day, basically. Um, you've learnt the lessons and you're taking them with you, but you're moving forward to better things. So that jumped, which leads me to believe that this is um, actively um, appearing around you. And the energy that's supporting you is the Ten of Cups. Now, Ten is completion, and Cups is to do with the emotional realm. So it is... Um, your feelings, it is your relationships with people, your intuition, your creativity, and also, just generally speaking, um, what makes you happy? It's water energy. Um, and the Ten of Cups is the happy ever after. It's that quest for um, happiness, sheer contentment in life. Um, all your, your cups are filled. Um, you've reached that, that level. Um, in life where you really are happy and I think it's beautiful to see this because this is what the oracle cards are trying to say ground yourself don't live in the past or in the future and embrace who you really are what makes you different so that you can move forward and there will be people supporting you if you need it so we start with the queen of swords and strength so the Queen of Swords, where Queen represents patience and understanding, um, receptive energy. They're not action-taking like the Kings. And the Queen of Swords is someone who is linked to the intellect, so she's very knowledgeable. She is very fair. She's also someone who can defend herself. She's got the, the Sword of Truth right there, defending herself, because she's going to cut what no longer serves her to protect herself. Um... And this may not be easy, which is why it's supported by f force or strength, which is the major arcana. Now, major arcanas, to me, are very important as a reader because they represent um, spirit, God, the universe, your angels, whoever you work with, intervening to support you, to provide you with situations and events and relationships that are going to make you grow deeply, you know, emotionally, spiritually, um, mentally make you stronger um, and they have a more permanent type um, of effect on your life and strength talks about facing whatever it is you've got to face with with courage knowing that you've got it knowing that you've got the inner fortitude to see something through um, strength also talks about uh, not necessarily having to use force to overcome a challenge and with the Queen of Swords right here, you can see that this is more about using facts, your intellect, and being patient, but still being um, strong, as in, I've got a sword, I will cut you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So this is um, the universe telling you that you have the strength and, and everything you need, need, the power within you, 
to embody the characteristic of this Queen of Swords and cut what no longer serves you so that you may move forward. So whatever it is that's holding you back, whether it's um, something in the past or whether it's just projecting yourself in the future all the time, this is going to get cut so that you may be grounded in the present and so that, so that you may work on yourself right now so that you can get your Ten of Cups, which is the happy ever after. And then we move on to the Nine of Cups, and again, I love this because it's always very positive in the Tarot when you have progression. So you go from the Nine to the Ten. Beautiful energy. So the Nine is the number of, of achievement in any suit, and in the uh, Cup suit, this talks about um, having your wish fulfilled. The, it really is the wish fulfillment card. It's getting what you want and, and being very, very happy um, in your life. So... That's why I smiled when, well, you didn't see my smile, but you may have heard me chuckle <laughs> when I saw it. Because on top of it, it is supported by the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Aces are the origin of any suit, and they represent brand new beginnings. And the coins or pentacles are to do with your physical world. So it's home life, work life, um, job careers, financial assets, your studies if you're at uni, that kind of thing. And this is a tangible, brand new beginning in your physical world. So this is talking about, this could be a, a lump sum of money, a job offer, um, a brand new home where you can live. This can be uh, a promotion, anything like that, which is going to bring you that wish fulfillment. So, I mean, this is a beautiful combination of this comes in and then boom, you're happy. And this is going to be something very stable because you've got the king of coins there. So when you talk about progression, you go from the ace to the king. I mean, that's fast progression from the beginning to the end. The king is um, obviously the master of the suit. So this is someone who's worked hard and knows how to uh, provide stability and prosperity for himself. Very reliable energy. This is earth energy. So this is a king who is very stable financially, which is why he's prosperous. He doesn't have to worry about these kind of things. And I believe this is going to be you once you have cut off what no longer serves you and you've really embraced who you are, what is it, what is it that makes you happy, and um, differentiates you from, from the rest. And this is supported by the Three of Cups. Three is the number of growth, expansion, and in the emotional realm, this is something to celebrate. This is happiness in a cup, literally, you know, celebrating. Um, this is you getting out of this um, funk that you were there, not being grounded in the present, living either in the past or in the future, and being really happy, celebrating because you've become that king of coins. You have that stability, that prosperity, abundance um, that makes you truly happy. So, you know, with the Ten of Cups supporting you, you know, the happy ever after, uh, this is probably the most positive readings I've seen for the next three months up until now. And I've done half of them already. So this is beautiful. I'm very excited for you. I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me, um, despite all my flying cards. <laughs> if you did or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wish you a fabulous next three months and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.